You had to use, you know, all your hearing and everything to make out some of these rather faint or corrupted radio signals. They could be a matter of life and death. I mean, the German ship could be planning to attack a convoy or they could have been laying mines off the east coast, which they did. It could well be that somebody was under pressure, someone was approaching with a gun. It could be anything. They were desperate to get material out before they themselves were killed or taken prisoner or something terrible would happen. The first thing you did was sign the Official Secrets Act and they did emphasize that this was for life. You know, it wasn't just for the war, but you must in fact Never divulge uh, what you are about to learn. Once you'd signed it, you realized that you couldn't tell your family. We, we never let on that we were intercepting German radio. I am speaking to you from the cabinet room at 10 Downing Street. This country is at war with Germany. One Sunday morning, when we were on our way to the village church for the service, and we stopped and went into one of the local people's houses and listened to the declaration of war on their wireless. And I remember feeling, uh, good, I'm not going to miss it. I'm going to be part of this. I was accepted for General Wren's training 1942 at Mill Hill in London. And at the end of that course, some of us were sent off to a small secret college. They considered you had to have the right kind of temperament to deal with periods of very intense activity and long periods of nothing happening, which would be very boring. And a lot of the messages were going to be in four letter Enigma code. Bletchley Park would need these sent on to them and they had to be absolutely accurate. If you weren't sure of a letter, you would leave a gap. And of course, we worked round the clock in watches, as they were called, uh, four hours on, eight hours off. When I arrived in Italy uh, by air, uh, I was into a war zone. I had to take the urgent messages or ones which had perhaps been done in a hurry by an agent and he'd got it mixed up and to try and unwrangle it so that I could read what he was asking for and what he needed. I found it was very familiar, this business of trying to correct a corruption. We'd done uh, things uh, as children with our parents uh, connected with jigsaw puzzles, with um, all sorts of things where you had to use your mind to try and sort out what could have gone wrong. We perhaps grew in each other's estimation when we knew what we, we had been doing. Mm. A nice thought. We were always extremely close. We always wrote a lot of letters. I sort of knew the social side of the life she was having, but of course absolutely nothing about the serious side of it. Yes, I think we signed the Secrets Act rather frequently, both of us, and couldn't talk about what we did. We did have this, uh, I think, very interesting job 
And although you never got any feedback, um, you know, we certainly couldn't have won the war without the intelligence Jean was involved with and I was involved with.